This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Do this. Read the code for random greeting function. Finish the code for the random greeting function so that it randomly adds a, com a comment from the list to the name passed through your parameter, so to the argument. All right, don't be scared of those. We'll talk about them. Let me hit run. Oh, whoa. Okay, so here's what's writing. Let's see what we need. I'm going to shrink this. All right, so we have, this is the function call. This is where we're asking the computer to run something called random greeting. Then we ask it to run something called random complement. Let me go ahead and go. Doop. And then so on and so forth. All right, random greeting. When we do this, just like last time, the computer will say, what the world is that? Smack. And it sees this and it says, oh, okay, random greeting name. Oh, I need name. Uh, where was, and it was called here, right? This is where we asked the function to run. So it uses Benjamin as what we would call an argument, right? So Benjamin is going to be put in place of the parameter. So name then is like a variable and it's equal, well, it is a variable. It's equal to Benjamin, right? So random greeting is going to run names Benjamin. Var greeting, good day, all of these other languages, okay? We make that into a string of just those words. So it's an array or it's a list of those words. Then what do we do? Well, we council log random number zero greeting length minus one. Oh, so greetings is an array. It's a list. And we're saying print one of those greetings zero to the length of the list minus one. And we do that because the length of the list is one more than the index, right? Indexes start at zero. So we need to do length minus one because the last thing in the list wouldn't be five, one, two, three, four, five. It's index four, index three, index two, index one, index zero. So length minus one. So we grab one of these randomly and we slap the name that was passed here. Now let's see random complement. The computer says, what's that? Smack, random complement. And now we need to make this work. Add code so that the function council logs the person's name followed by a complement. All right. so. To do that, we need a council log. Yep. And I'm just going to put it right here. And then let me get a bit more space. And then now what I need in this is my list name right here, just like they have. Um, I can also grab it from here. But we're going to want to do more than that to it. Look at all this. So I'm going to need a plus and my list name. So let me head over to math and grab a plus. Drop that there. Now let me go to variables, grab my list name, drop that here. Okay, what's the name of my list this time around? The name of it is compliments. And then what number, what index? Well, we're going to do what they did, which is a random number. So math, random number gets dropped here. Now, there's not 10 items in the list, and we really don't want to count. You could count, but it's a bad habit to get into because it's better to use length. That way, if you delete something from the list or add something to a list, you don't have to go change your code everywhere. You don't have the length coded in. You just get the length each time. So index starts at zero. And for the length, I'm going, or for the end of the list, instead of writing five or something like that, I'm going to write the name of my list, complements dot length, and then minus one. Because again, lists start at zero. So my list here starts at zero, index. So how many items are in my list? One, two, three, four, five things are in my list. How many indexes are there? Well, this starts at zero. So this is index four, three, two, one, zero. So when we're asking the random number to go to the end of the list, that's one too far because that index doesn't exist. We start at zero and we go to one minus the end of the list. Then we want to smash the name that we passed on the end of it. So name here. All right, let's make sure they call it. They're already calling it. So random complement name so name would be ben raji esmeralda will be the name and it should randomly output one of these let's try what oh compliment random number oh does it go in front oh yep so their name should go in front this time that's easy enough i'm going to switch into text mode 
and just delete name and plus, and then out in front, name and plus. Now it's here. All right, let's show that again. Boom, perfect. Awesome, onward.